All right, so this is gonna be the last video where we make predictions with the model that we just trained. So within your open Unmix repo, uh, we're gonna make a new notebook called separation notebook, and it should be kind of in this main uh, directory because we're gonna be importing from test.py. <clears throat> so go ahead and copy what I have here. And this should run just fine for you guys because all this should already be installed. And what we're going to do is from our training directories, this is where I'm going to be pulling the data from. And if you split your data exactly like I did, you should have these files in your train directory. But all we're going to be doing is defining like five five second files of interference. We're gonna concatenate together so we get 25 seconds. And we're gonna be rebuilding that audio that you heard within the PowerPoint example. And all this is is like reading in NumPy arrays and reshaping them. So uh, you should be able to do this for any type of audio that you want. But if you've been following along, then this data should be accessible from your train, um, these two paths. Okay, so pause it, copy this down. Um, now what we need to do is we need to read in our podcast audio and then we're gonna concatenate all of our uh, five second data into 25 second data. So in order to do that, we're gonna start with two lists. It's gonna be called pod sample and int sample. Then I'm gonna say for ix and i in enumerate of we're going to enumerate, so this is actually referring to, remember when we created numbers for every single, uh, when we broke like the entire two hour podcast into little five second chunks and then we iterated them? That's what this, from 600 to 605. So it's going to be referencing specific podcast portions. And this specifically is the, the one with Bob Lazar where he's talking about, uh, you know, aliens. <laughs> So we're going to say rate wave is equal to wave file dot read <clears throat> os dot path dot join and we're going to be going into our uh, podcast path and specifically we want the Bob Lazar podcast and yeah this is actually what all the files look like that's kind of interesting it auto completes that for you <clears throat> so we're going to say Bob Lazar dot wave And we'll format I here. <clears throat> and then we're going to append this onto our list. So pod sample dot append wave. And then uh, we'll read in our interfering audio. So this is just going to be wave file dot read of enters dot ix. So I actually already read in, I created the paths for all these wave files up here. And I just have to read them in and I can index them with enumerate here. So it's zero, one, two, three, four. So we'll say in sample dot append of wave and I get a syntax error because this should be read. <clears throat> All right, so it looks like it worked. And now we're gonna concatenate these together. So we're gonna use numpy dot concatenate of pod sample, the axis zero, and then we'll have int wave, where we're gonna concatenate uh, int sample, axis is zero. So let's actually check out the shapes of those. So we'll print pod wave dot shape. So it's a n by, well, I guess it's just a, an n-dimensional array and uh, let's actually so the cool thing about Jupyter Notebooks is that they have a, like a built-in display function and they have a display for audio so uh, we import it up here but you can call audio and wrap that around your pod wave with the rate that it plays back at 
and uh, we already read in the rate up here when we read the files and there that was 44,100 so that should show up and happened the craft took off sounds good so now we're going to put it over here is interfering wave and what we're going to do now is actually let's just check so Briefly, we can print, uh, just to make a point, we're going to print the pod waves data type. So if you take a look at like the first entry in that array, you'll see that it's in 16. So uh, again, the data type matters a lot here, and we'll see it later once we make predictions. Uh, so let's actually make predictions really quick. Um, one weird caveat to this is that when you make predictions, you can't use an n-dimensional array. It needs to be an n by one array because the the model expects single channel audio. So we'll create a mix, and the mix is going to be equal to pod wave plus int wave, and we'll print uh, mix dot shape. Uh, the other thing is we should reshape this. So we'll say mix is equal to numpy dot expand dims of our mix and the axis is going to be equal to one because we want to add another axis onto the end there and now if we print mix dot shape we get n by one so now we're ready to make predictions with it so i'm going to say estimates is equal to separate and so it's going to require our audio that we want to make predictions on, which is going to be mix. And then we need to get targets, which will be podcasts. Uh, model name. So this is the directory name that we created during training where our model is found. It's going to be open unmix 512. And the device is going to be CUDA. And so something that's kind of annoying with how they wrote this, like at least the way they wrote this separate function is that every time you call it, it has to re like it has to take the entire model and put it into the GPU's memory. So it's a little slow. So if you guys are making predictions for like very large, like a whole hour of audio, um, unfortunately it does have to fit in your RAM in the first place. But you'll probably want to just like concatenate all your audio together for like an hour of audio before you actually run it. Or you should go into the uh, test.py file and you can pull out the model and reformat things if you want to. So now that we have our estimates, <clears throat> let's listen to this. So actually let's just print, see what that looks like. So we have a dictionary with podcasts and accompaniment as the keys. I don't know why it says accompaniment here, but it, it sounds correct. So it's just kind of weird that it's not interferer or like we, uh, it should just be the other class that we created within our data file. I, I don't really understand why it turned out like this, but it works. So it's whatever. So we're going to say for target. So for our key, and our estimate, which will be the value in estimates.items. Uh, we're going to print our target and then we can display our audio. So we'll display audio. And the other thing that's kind of interesting about this is if you were to print estimate.shape, you can see you also get an n by one array out. And so in order to display it, we actually have to squeeze that array. So we're going to say estimate dot squeeze. <clears throat> and uh, another thing, I think we have to convert data type. Oh, no. Okay, we don't. So for whatever reason, the IPython display actually works okay when you don't 
convert the data type. So our rate is just going to be equal to rate. And so there are two predictions. Um, another thing that's kind of weird is uh, I've kind of seen this both ways. If I feed in a really long sample of audio, a lot of times you'll get the exact length out, but here it's actually cutting off. So like this should be 25 seconds. It's cutting off a little bit of data points. Again, uh, it shouldn't be a big deal, but it's kind of weird that it does do this occasionally. Happened. The crab took off and I came flying at a stop, so these you know, are turned at a right angle, flew back. And, you know, it was and that sounds about right. So yeah, it, it struggles with the airplane there, but that's pretty much exactly what we heard in the uh, first video with the podcast. I mean, sorry, the PowerPoint. And so now that we have our podcast estimate, let's go over how to save this as a WAV file. So I'm going to call, I'm going to create an array. Uh, this will be our prediction array. We'll call it pod predict. And that will be equal to estimates of podcasts. And we will squeeze this array. And this is very important, but we need to convert it to int 16. I'm pretty sure it comes out as float 32, but uh, if you don't convert this to int 16, your audio is going to sound terrible when you go to save it. And, uh, man, I guess we'll just say path is equal to home Seth <clears throat> desktop. And so we'll say wave file dot write of os dot path dot join. And we'll join our path together with Oh, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll call it pod predict dot wave. Our rate from before was it's still forty four thousand one hundred, and then we just need our array. So it's going to be pod predict, and hopefully that runs. Cool. So that should have saved to my desktop, and there it is. Happened. The crab took off, and I came. <clears throat> Flying at a stop, you know, turned it around. I to my friends and I said, what is this? I said, take a laser pointer and then have a ruler and then move it around the wall. Like, you know how it moves around yeah. the wall? It doesn't seem like it has anything to do with the nerve. All right, cool. So that sounds good. And uh, that's how you guys make predictions with this notebook. And I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I would recommend that you follow along with the audio data that I kind of walked you guys through first and then if you want to branch off um try your own now the the so the open unmixed repo like supports a lot of formats um but hopefully this gives you like an idea or maybe even just gets you to start working with it um i think in the future i might make a video talking about cuz originally this was made for music i would really like to run it again um, where we so they provide a pre-trained model and I was thinking like maybe compare the pre-trained model for music separation into sources against um, another another pre-trained model from something like Spleter because I wanted to see how they compare but that'll be like a whole nother video series or a couple videos for me to make but um, this has been something I've wanted to do for quite some time and I finally got around to doing it. So if you guys like the video, then like the video, leave me a comment. If you guys have any questions about or having trouble with anything, if YouTube actually pings me that you guys commented, I will typically respond to you. So um, thanks for watching guys.